is going on boys and girls of youtube bronze to masters we got adc we're gonna get right into it i picked artemis today why yes, artemis sir. i think artemis is just so easy to play and actually so good the one thing i see with artemis that i don't like right now that people are doing is they're going blackthorn hammer instead of Jotun's. i get 300 health is awesome but Jotun's is way more damage it's more cooldown it's flat pen and it's more power it's just a significantly better item in my opinion I am against a very rough lane. I'm not gonna lie to you. This lane is gonna be bad. I almost messed up. We need mana pots. We're against Sobek and we're against Neath. Uh, realistically, Neath is not a problem. Sobek, though, I mean, it's Sobek. Sobek's annoying to play against for 99% of hunters. You just gotta deal with it sometimes. The big thing here, though, we have Sylvanas. Sylvanas' is clear is amazing in lane. So we should technically have a better laning phase in terms of clear and pressure yeah. i messed up though i really dude i really think supports or junglers need to start warding this back kick creep back camp it, it's so good for the early jungle gank if you have that ward you know whether they're, they're coming or not and if you know they're coming it's just such an easy reaction for you to to not play up right to be like okay jungle's definitely coming i'm gonna go sit on my tower i don't want to die right. okay, make sure you always hit the green talk about this all the time mannequins bro is that just how crazy his clear is what oh that's actually just how crazy his clear is now he is very squishy which is a little scary but i don't think it's the end of the world we cleared so fast oh yeah we just cleared so fast i'm gonna focus on the wave i can group it up here and get a three on all of them it's huge which we are able to do so now sil should just be able to clear it. attack okay we're gonna focus on the clear of the wave so I do not know why my Sylvanas didn't auto the backs there. Oh my gosh, this guy's struggling. You got a root? I know you had a root, right? Okay. Oh, jungler's here. Oh, he messed up though. He messed up. He went on me. Nice. Okay, my jungler is playing this terribly. He's dead. Really bad jungle play, unfortunately. Oh, he jumped out. Oh, they're so low. It's actually very good now. Attack him, attack. Oh, there's their shell. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. I got you. Nice. Oh my god. I I'm, I got you. Oh my gosh. I don't oh, I might be dead of the creeps. I might be dead of the creeps. Nice. He's a beast. Oh, he juked me. He's dead though. Nice! What is this video game? Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. That was insane. That was actually insane. I'm gonna end up with high HP too here. That's what's really crazy. So that was like three waves we just split. And I don't know what just happened, but we got three kills. I've never <laughs> I've never seen the 3v3 in the duo lane go like that. Ever. Like that just lasted so we just missed so many creeps. That's bad. And I don't want to get close. Okay, this guy sucks. He's trying to force it. We're just trying to make sure we get our XP. At this point, I'm getting a Jotuns early this game. There's just no way we're not. We're at a thousand gold already. So we're just going to wait for the full Jotuns. We did use all our potions. So we just want to keep everything grouped up. Focus on clear. Poke when we can. If there's free kills that come along, we'll go for it. But in reality, we really, really, really just want the last and everything. He, if he's got a back, he's got a back. That's fine. Put a trap there. I doubt it ends up doing anything, but in the future, it might become valuable. If I'm running away and I hold that wall, and whoever's chasing me holds the wall too, we'll be good. Yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling right now. Oh, we're attacking, buddy. We're attacking. All right, like I said, I really want to wait for the Jotuns. Um, Hopefully, we get totem control or maintain totem control. Because I need 300 more gold, which is going to be like two and a half waves. It might be two waves with this side creep. We've missed a couple minions, though. If we hadn't missed... Wait, why would he last at that? And what I really want to do here is not waste mana. And make sure that I can ult if they go for a fight. I'll think over the steal on this. Yeah, I don't... I think we could have cleared that, but that's fine. Nice. They already all cleared us. We should have gone for that creep. Once we committed, once you commit that much to it, you should just finish it. It doesn't make any sense not to. We have our Jotuns. 
on the next wave. He's not giving this up, Moose. Got it. Easy. You picked my shield up. No. It doesn't matter, though. We want it back, so it doesn't make a difference. Make sure we're poking whenever we can. Yo, there's no way this guy has missed like seven plucks on me this game. All right, we're good. We're going to back. Sylvanas is clearing poorly low. If you're Sylvanas up front, use your yo, retreat. What are you doing? I'm out of there, dude. This guy's crazy. I'm going to wait for a mana pot here. I hope they get the kills, but I'm you see your ADC at under 100 mana. You don't go for a fight there. Like if it's free, if he has, you know, beads are down or whatever, go for it. All you. All you. I think he just got beads. They're 2v3. They're going to get Neath ulted. Oh, they're so low. And he, he needs all to the wrong guy. He should have needs all to the Sylvanas there. No way Dodgy goes back in. No way Dodgy goes back in. That's crazy. This is a wild game. Oh my gosh. I tried to get around and get the auto off. Well, at least my team didn't die. I thought that fight was going to go much worse. Yeah, this Sylv needs to learn to back. Yo, that guy's cr people don't respect the art three, man. I'm telling you with Jotuns, it swings. He's not mitigating that much. Look at that. Look at this damage. Watch. It's still ticking. Look at it. One, three, and he's lost. Uh, look, he doesn't even know. Doesn't even realize. Oh, I missed. I missed. Unfortunate. But they don't realize with the cooldown. They don't, they don't understand. It's too easy, dude. It's too easy, boys. All of our buffs are up, but I want to get the side creep. Always pry out the neutral farm unless you think your stuff's going to get invaded. If you're worried about your stuff getting invaded, obviously go do that and pry that way before neutral farm. But neutral farm is just, it's not, you know, it's, it's going to get taken and your farm more than likely isn't going anywhere. It's kind of the same with like towers and stuff. Like a tower is not going to go anywhere. So do the objective over the tower, right? Just always have that mindset when you're running around in this mic game. We're getting so much neutral farm over here. This Neath is screwed. Another one? Yeah, another one. This Neath is screwed. One of the other guys just got got. Follow everything, group it all up. We got cooldown as well, which is oh, we had cooldown. So we're in just a great spot. Blue shaman totem early for that cooldown is crazy good. And we get to go into this. So in reality, I want to go transcendent serious. I'm going to wait it out. I want the mana. Mana is a huge issue, as you can see. Like, I, I use like what, my three, three times and my ult, and I was um, that's not using my, or maybe I was using my two as well, but I wasn't using my one. Oh, my ult's back up. He's just dead. This poor guy, it's over. It's, it's actually over. This is why lane pressure is so important in all lanes, not just duo lane. If you can control your lane, if you have the better laning phase in ranked especially lower end ranked the games are so easy so please for the love of everything in your life if you're trying to get dubs make sure your god picks are pressure picks and how do you know if they're pressure picks you out clear everything you know that you don't really have a bad matchup in terms of in terms of controlling the lane pressure in a lane is usually out clearing occasionally it's being able to like fight like hey the other team must be afraid of me because i can kill them um but yeah, usually it's clear. So Sylvanas is one of the best clearing gods in the game for, for support. Um, I wouldn't say Ard's clear is great, but their clear is bad. I'm ready. I don't know what he's pinging me. Is he pinging where the Neath is? I don't know. I'm confused. Whatever. We get this one more time. Oh, we get a burn. So this D spawns at eight minutes. That's our last free 33 gold. We are huge though. We're huge. I think we're a full, no way. Oh, yeah, he's he's having a bad time. And realistically, what you should do is last hit this. So this way, if as long as I can keep creeps dying that he's not getting, I'm getting a lead, right? So you want to make sure those creeps swap. He's actually messed up because he hit the wave. So he's missing a full wave here. He can't he can't play the game. And we're, we can last it when it's like this. When when we're at an advantage in creeps, we can last it. So I'm gonna take that one too. Last hitting is very valuable, and I'm gonna run at this guy. Uh, he hit me with the immunity or the whatever. Yep, you do that, bud. I'm actually going to clear. I want to get the neutral farm, and I'm not sure where the jungler is, and I'm pretty low mana. Because of that low mana, I want to back and get my transcendence. He might be able to steal this. 
Let's be close. Oh, we're good. Yep, that's fine. He eats a little bit of shield, but we don't really care about that. We just care about the fact that the way he's playing makes me think there's a jungler here. I'm going to probably go poking him again and trying to avoid getting poked. Now he is healing up a little bit of it. You're not really going to go brawlers. Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's the Osiris. When you pay attention to the way your teammate or the, your enemy is playing the game, he might go to this purple, which sucks. It's awkward timing. Yep. We'll try to last at this. That's fine. I don't think he can kill us. He got it. <laughs> uh, he's not happy. Now, I'm going to let him take Grim because I do not want to miss my wave, and I don't really want to fight. I'm sitting on too much gold. So we're gonna take the W on the purple. I'm actually gonna back. I'll pick up the purple on the way out of base. We don't really re need it right now. Plus it, you know, it, it doesn't do anything. It's not like a speed buff, right? It's not, it's not gonna be part of our survival or our gank potential and stuff. It's just a good fight tool. Really, I find more value on the cooldown out of it than the actual attack speed. They're gonna get Neath ulted. Ideally, when there's a Neath or someone with a global ult, you wanna fight in their lane. So fighting in the mid lane, Especially against the Scylla is really bad. It is not good. This sucks right here. I'm probably gonna miss a creep. I'm gonna pop my two. I want to get to the wave as soon as possible. Oh, we, yeah, we missed one creep. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. And now we're gonna start trying to bully again. Get my wards out. We want deeper wards. Ideally, you want to ward a little bit deeper than I just did. I'll get the next one out in a second. Right, this guy's not even here. And when you play ability build, it's just like an ADC build. You scale heavily off of items. Levels obviously matter early. Getting that three to max rank matters. But you scale heavily off of items. Neath is annoying. I have a feeling that the uh, Osiris isn't here right now. I really think he's not here right now. Can't get to him. That sucks. I was so close. He's got a back. It's all good. Osiris is right. I'll get this tower. It's pretty free. I want to rotate. I kind of want to pour over. If I pour it over, though, the Neath will get a lot of free farm. Granted, we will be able to run out of base and get back quickly. I don't have an item I'm sitting on. With this build, we want to go Crusher, Heartseeker, and Titan's Bane. If you don't care about mana, realistically, you could go into Soul Eater um instead of transcendence for some sustain but you're gonna care about that <laughs> that is a big deal and now we're just picking up neutral farm i don't necessarily want to go to these fights unless i think they're good fights i do however want to make sure i am not missing any farm oh that's crazy that he's here oh shoot i might be dead here maybe not yeah i'm probably dead here wait maybe not no, my ult just came up. That sucks, dude. That sucks. I didn't think Osiris would be over here again. I should have put my ward down that I was carrying, and I completely forgot. I was so worried about looking at the mid lane, see if there's anything there. Unfortunate for me. Bad play. Bad pathing. Not really bad play. Just bad pathing. We're all good, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up this Jotuns. Um, I'm going to grab a health pot here. And we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to get Blink. Aegis would be good against their team comp because they have still a lance. But I want to be the aggressor onto this Neath. Yeah, our, our farm's gone. This Osiris was on my purple twice in a row. His build's not good. The Equinox gets buffed on Tuesday. So that would be, what, the 6th? Wait, what's today? Sunday? No, yeah, so the 6th. Might be worth picking up then, but I have a feeling it's not. I'm just sad that because of Neath ult, I died there. I would have got my ult back up and I would have killed the Osiris. So I would have been able to turn on him. I could have played that a little better, though. Timing off. We're still ahead. It's all good. And he still can't fight me, and that's the big thing. Even if you lose a little bit of a lead, it's not the end of the world as long as you can still fight. No, I need to get this ward up. I must have walked over a mid ward. Yeah, this guy is just shook. Like he can't play the game. If he walks up, he's dead here. Because his beats are done. Yeah, I'm going to go on him. Oh my gosh, this guy's still here. It's unfortunate that he's here again. 
Unfortunate, I'll take the 1v1. It's a free kill. If they lose this, okay. So that was a 4v2 right there. I don't even think the, yeah, it was 4v2. Because uh, someone wasn't in that fight. Lancelot? Yeah, Lancelot was not in that fight. Oh no, Lance was in the beginning of that fight. So it was a 4v3. Either way, we should have never lost that fight. We have Warrior's Bane. He is a little tanky once he gets autos up. So we are going to have to deal with him. We have to recognize he's going to be more than likely the person that's in our face that we have to kill. I might go to this fight. I might try to get to this fight. More than likely won't make it. Scylla is clapping them, dude. Five and one. They're letting him free cast. Dodgy's targeting is bad. Oh, I missed. Oh, he messed up. He's on. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. I'm going to kill this guy. I got away from his ult. This is huge. That's massive. Hopefully I don't die to a random Neath ability. No way my mid dies. No way he ate that full. Oh, he lives. Neath was there. Okay. I was about to be real sad. Like I, I just got a bit of play. I got the dude's beads. I live. You can't be dying on me there. If they have a ward anywhere here, I died to Neath. Which I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hilarious. All right. We have Jotun's. Rock, so we might be able to out heal what Neath would do. All right, we're gonna back. We have Crusher. Heart Seekers next after this. I like getting Crusher for the attack speed. I think it's a little more valuable at this stage in the game than uh, the, the Heart Seeker proc. The Heart Seeker is not even enough power. You need 150 power to get full Heart Seeker procs. So, realistically, in some, yeah, I mean, even with Transcendence, I have a pretty high power build right now and we don't have it. So, ideally, you go Transcendence fifth in that fifth slot. And then we'll go Obshard in the last slot. I melted that. I'm sorry. He is a he is a frostbound too. He's going the weirdest build, bro. I don't think I catch him. Oh yes, I do. My three's up again. Enemy ultimate down. Enemy missing middle. Oh, he messed up. Oh my gosh, he backflipped my boar stun. That's unreal. That was that's unreal. I'm so sad. It's all good though. Nice. I want to do some objectives, but I'd have to go over to fire. I don't want to be stuck in my lane. Oh, okay, we're fine. If Neath is here, oh, Neath is ulting. Yeah, I don't really want to be stuck in this lane right now. I'd like to rotate. And with an ability hunter, you can't solo any objectives, which is why, realistically, if you're trying to hard carry, I wouldn't recommend art if you're truly trying to be the hard carry. And I remember when I said you should be fighting in the duo lane with a Neath in the game. We haven't fought over here once. My dodgy has not come back over here since the very first fight. That's crazy to never go to the duo lane again for 15 minutes. That's unheard of, to be honest. And But we'll make the most of it. We're going to rotate in and look for more neutral farm. We've got almost a two level lead on this Neath. Um, can we go ahead and grab this? Oh, wait. Is he coming to me? Yo, gank. just dead we really wish he hadn't pulled him off but that's cool oh the boar we're gonna go over here and play the dash yep oh nice this is so good this is so good oh my gosh i don't want to get into another fight bro just leave I want to do gold, bro. Why are you on the right side of the map? This dodgy does not come over here. I don't know how free this is going to be. My boar is almost back up, but this is going to be kind of hard to do, I think. No, nope, they're giving it up. I lied. I don't know why they're giving up, but this works. I'll take it. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm getting annoyed with this dodgy, though. As a jungler, you can't be hard focused on just one side of the map if you're going to win a game and it's not because of the way the lane's going or anything it's because of objective play like not being able to go for a cold fury until the 20 minute mark is terrible terrible map control it is absolutely bad i think these beads are still down by the way so i'm gonna try to kill her i 
I hit this Osiris super hard. If he had a shifter shield, I don't think. Oh, here he comes. I don't think I'd be able to kill him. Do they know I'm here? Like, this is wild. Oh, good. In the ultimate yeah, I'm going to go for this. I don't, I don't think Osiris is coming anymore. Now, I can't tell if Osiris is here. So, what I have to do now. Oh, there he goes. See, if he doesn't walk over a ward, I'll never know. Is he? Oh, he's hovering. Look at him. Look at him. He doesn't know what to do. It might be because the Neath is begging him. Be that could also be a thing. Be careful. All right, this is fine. We're sitting on a lot of gold. We don't quite have Transcendence yet, though. Very, very close. Or not Transcendence, sorry. Heartseeker. Very close. 200 gold. I have 700 mana, which seems like I have, like, none. But I have enough to actually go for, uh, like, a 20-second fight. Maybe a 30-second fight. And we're regening a lot. Oh, my gosh. Dodgy dashing in there is so bad. Yo, what the heck? What? Okay, let's go. Nice. No way, Dodgy, you're insane, brother. Chill. And now we're just gonna go get towers and go to Pyro. You just control the map. If you, you know, you lock down the left side, don't miss any farm. Well, I might be able to help this guy, actually. All right, I'll catch this guy. I don't think he's back. He's gonna get off in time. Attack. He'll die eventually. I just need to play slow. Okay. Okay, thank God. I was about to blink. That was a waste of Osiris' blink, too. <laughs> to drop a full cooldown like that when you're never gonna get away. I mean, that's crazy. Just do fire. Stop going for kills, guys. This shit is crazy. Yo, if your whole focus in smite game of all games is kills, you might want to go start playing Call of Duty, bro. I'm, I'm going to be honest because this stuff is crazy. Grab the bomb. Grab the bomb. Thank you. And I'm going to get my item because I'm sitting. I don't even think he grabbed the bomb. I don't think he grabbed. Oh, yeah, they grabbed it. Nice. I'm going to go hit level 20. Now we want that blue stone. That blue stone will be key because we will have crusher proc, heart seeker proc, and a full blue stone proc every time we use our three. If we three onto a squishy, it does like seven or eight hundred damage. It's crazy. It's actually ridiculous how much damage ability hunters can do in current smite. All right, get this clear up. I don't want the I don't want Sylvanas to get the farms. I want it level twenty. I don't know if that's a bad thing. He got a little bit of it. It's not the end of the world though. And he's gonna heal me. So shout outs to him. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting for the full blue stone. So I am not going to buy any other items. I've got a counter ward if I need it. Did he do that? He's not doing any neutral fight. He's so afraid. He's afraid to be here for too long because he knows I'm going to blink on him. I know Cyrus is a little tanky in that last fight. There's a creep I missed. He's got shifters. As I said it, he, he bought shifters. There's no reason for you to go any type of hybrid god where you need to be a little tanky. You have to be tanky to do your thing and not go shifters it's the best item in smite i'm gonna see if this guy's pathing i think he might walk right here that or he's just gonna need all did he live oh if i have blue zone he's dead that's crazy whatever he needs all to me though which in reality you won't be able to quantify it but it might have completely turned that whole fight there's a chance to turn that whole fight. I need 300 more gold. So I'm going to agree two more waves. And then just start running it around. I'm going to try to get the team to actually listen. It seems like I have to call the objective and I have to physically pull it. Or no one will do it. And it, it's just a wild concept, man. You, I don't think... I think because... No offense. Like, this isn't me just shitty on console players. But console players have way less experience with MOBAs. And honestly, most strategy games are usually kind of just shooter gamers. I think that's the issue i think a lot of people even a lot of pc ones are ex console gamers that have moved over and i feel like they don't understand the value of objective play versus kills if you watch one spl game it'll be zero to zero kills and one team will be up six thousand gold that's objective play that, that that is playing around all the objectives correctly and in ranked it's way easier because all you have to do is try to do the objectives usually and you're good I don't know what just happened, but him getting on his horse, messed that up. Still a free ultimate is crazy, but here we are. 
Here we are. That guy didn't have beads because I just went on him earlier. Oh, dude, th this guy has to know who I am. Body block. You, yeah, that's what I'm trying to use you to body block. Unfortunately, we lose this fight. No, 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 no. Mommin wasn't here. Mommin, please, brother, please. I don't think the Osiris actually knows who I am, but it is kind of weird for him to go through that whole fight and act like that. Wait, where'd Mommin go? Mommin, you were so afraid to play the game. His Mommin is shook. Okay, this Mommin's build is terrible, by the way. So he has Tyvins with no other lifesteal items. And he went raw. He has 50% pen. <laughs> He gets a kill his build is horrendous this is the this might be the worst mom build i've ever seen yo mommin you have 50 percent pen Try to help him out. He'll probably take it as a personal attack or something because he's weird. But we'll see. That ob shard is a terrible pickup. 50% pen at 25 minutes is wild. And Mirrodin, Stava Mirrodin is one of the best items in the game for any mage that can use it. So some mages like Anubis and stuff don't get any value out of it because they don't get to really proc it the way you would want. Um, but a lot of mages, the second you throw an ability out, it gives it to you. So your ult actually gets the extra damage. And then a lot of mages open fights with ults. So if you open a fight with an ult, then the rest of your abilities are going to cook. Uh, we need to start doing objectives and stop fighting so much. Their fight is actually really good in the laning phases because of the spacing that's being created by Scylla dashing one way and Osiris and the uh, Sobek kind of zoning slash chasing the other way. All right, that's good. Our team is, okay. Okay, why did you save him? Yo. This lands. This lands, bro. I'm coming back for you, buddy. That's insane. They just chased right down mid. There isn't even a tower in mid for them to go after, so I don't know why they're doing that. I feel like we can actually. Nah, we can't really contest it. Whale goes in, definitely dies. We'll just play for neutral farm. It is kind of insane though that uh I'm in trouble here. I'm not in trouble. Shout out to my ult. Okay, I might be in trouble. I think I'm out. I think I'm out. I think I'm out. He's definitely gonna get on his horse again. He's trying to catch me. He's so tanky, bro! Goodness great. Yeah, he's full defense. His health went up. We might lose this because of our bad mid and jungler, which is insane. And now when you guys say, I mean, I've, I've always understood it, but when you call an objective and your teammates don't follow up, there's only so much you can do. I mean, that if they just come to Gold Fury, we do it for free. They showed up madly. I'm going to take this. He can get his other one if it's still up. It's probably not. Nice. He's trying to get a solo kill in the tank, though. I don't think they're going to kill him. Yeah, he's way too tanky. It's unfortunate. Attack, fire giant. I'm hoping we get this. Scylla was running, so I, I feel like this is the best call I can make. Try to keep us in the game. He said, do you do any damage to the whale? Of course whale doesn't do damage. It's whale. He probably doesn't even have thorns. Nah, he doesn't have thorns. That's that's his problem. I don't I do have actives. This is just a retreat. 
Just play together, guys. Goodness gracious. We're making this game so difficult because you're running after kills. This game, realistically, after that beginning fight, could have been a 25-minute game ender. Like, game over. All right, we're almost full build. We are basically full builder. No, 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 no. Why are we fighting again, guys? There's no objective there. There's nothing there. Bad. Unless he gets on his horse. I just screenshotted something. <laughs> nice. That was a terrible play from Lancelot. I don't think they do fire. Neath is just such a bad. Oh, kill this guy. I just chunked him. Oh, he's cooked. I knees all down, Osiris all down, Scylla all down. That guy just got melted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was. I did fire. Oh my gosh. Scylla doesn't have ult to steal this. Her two obviously hits really hard. And we have a Mammon, so we have no real good secure. But this should be doable. I'm going to put a bunch of traps. Oh, I just walked into that. Let's troll. Whatever. I'm going to put a bunch of traps down. I'm going to try to use them for myself in case somebody gets here. Yep. I'm gonna stop on this real quick. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We don't want to hit this. We don't want to hit this. They got it. That's crazy. We kept hitting it. We can still kill them all, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, yeah. They're cooked. This is really good. I'm gonna play the right side here for the cutoff for this Neath. Oh, he's going deep in fort. Uh, this is interesting. I don't really know what's going on, but I have my ult, so I might be able to catch something. Nice. He beads. I'm killing as best I can. The shield. I thought we had a tier two tower up there. That sucks. That fire is bad. We need to drop and fight. I got you, buddy. They're getting melted. He walked to the trap. He's dead. <laughs> We're gonna get this. It's not impossible. It's gonna be hard. Okay. Got him off a source. Nice. I'm trying, bro. I can't. Maybe I can though. Oh, I gotta beads this pluck here. Never mind. I got one tap. <laughs> Still all over 1500. <laughs> I really wanted that Phoenix. I'm not going to lie. It's so low. Mommin, kill him. Yes, Mommin. Mommin still does good damage. And when you're a bad player and you're able to play that slow on Mommin and still get away with it, it's even crazy. Like, late reaction time, bad positioning, all that stuff still picks up a free kill. We should. If we could have got that Phoenix, I'd say we definitely win this game. Since we didn't get the Phoenix, I'm not certain yet. If they have major objective secure, by the way, like Scylla, Kakulkin, Upwash, which sounds weird, but it is anything they can just do massive raw, anything that does massive instant burst for around 2K, it's very hard to secure a fire giant. So you should not try to out secure those gods. Unless you also have it and then you want to 50 50 it. If you see somebody like that standing there, you just you drop. As soon as that so big ulted, we should have dropped and just fought. They were killing, I think, the Neath, but then they bailed out. Should have been on the Scylla. The Neath is irrelevant. That Scylla is the one who needs to die. Scylla is the one who's going to secure it. Defense. This game is pretty much dead even as soon as they get that, that goal for you. And that's a fat, that's a really, really good goal for you. How are we going to defend that, dude? We're just spawning. If you steal it, you're a beast, but I think you're just dead. Oh, he got it. He's a beast. He got it his all. He's dead, though. So I was right. I'm gonna try to be careful here. I don't really know. These guys have been pathing very weird the whole game. Even though the tier two or tier one is still up, who knows what they're gonna do? Almost have 3k pot. Do have red. Why are we fighting again? He just stole. That's crazy. Usually after objectives, there's no way you're pinging me, bro. We should not be fighting this. We just lost our dude for the objective. This is where this is how you lose games. This is where you throw games. Yeah. Never mind. I just clapped their cheeks.
crazy 180 there to live insane might get a kill he's so low he's gonna die yeah we win this that's crazy i'm cooking him cooking him cooking him cooking him i got him Woo. Woo. it sucks because they have fat waves oh no they don't have fat waves we stole it i forgot <laughs> wait did it solo him no 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 there's no way you kill him I don't think they get anything though. Mom is up too. Yeah. So we have 3k pot. We actually have red pot too by the time we spawn. Mom is up. They don't get any objectives. Now we just go play for fire on the respawn. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but there's no world we should have won that fight. I'm just going to throw it out there. There's no world, especially I get a kill and all of them barrel at me and I'm able to walk through them. He's ridiculous. And then Sylvana stepped up. Sylvana is actually a very good player. So, Master Noob, if you watch this video at any point you've played great the whole game not say you've done everything perfect you haven't hit like the craziest pools in the world but you have played better than you need to to win a game for sure way better than you need to also if you're liking this video so far make sure you're hitting the like button and if you're actually the homie you're commenting you could say taco bell in the comments for all i care i'm gonna be honest you could say taco bell in the comments i'm gonna go take his speed and get the extra cooldown. He's gonna want to pick it up even though he has it because he's a cringe lord. He changed it. He changed it to red, bro. <laughs> I want the cooldown, dude. I've only got 20%. I don't have beads either. This is kind of they're on. Wait, are they on it? I thought they're on it. We're gonna put our counter down. Hopefully team pays attention and doesn't also put their counter down. Alright, so I I do like 20-ish percent of that guy's health, maybe 25, because it did burn through that. Oh yeah, we, we're actually chunky. Okay. I walked into that. That was dumb. No, we let him reset. I'm dead. Neethal clapped me. That's game. That's such a bad way to end the game, dude. Such a terrible way to end the game. I walked into the lance hall. I would have died anyway. I died so fast. I need to me for 800. <sighs> rough, 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 rough. No one blinked and none of us use our beats. Dodgy didn't even get our ult off. Or Mama. <laughs> I don't really need the beads because my ult is CC immunity. Wait, it's not over yet? They didn't end wait it's over it's over it's over they're pushing that was smart to go two and two for them to split a little bit we have a proximity ward in case somehow we spawn but i don't think we do um mm, i think this is the game unfortunate unfortunate dude so sad we never should have lost this game in a million years if a uh, jungler made you watch this back, you both were horrible. Absolutely terrible. Neither of you wanted to play objectives the whole game. You kept running down for kills and you both ended up with nine and 12 deaths. You're the most deaths on the team. That should be telling of the way you played the game. This is not TDM. Their solo does damage. Solo laner warriors do hit, hit hard. He probably already had a 3k pot too. So he's extra, extra tanky at that point. Granted, I also had a 3k pot. Let's see the damage. Scoreboard. One of them is baby raging. Their Lancelot was baby raging. Shocker! When you do more damage than your mid and jungle combined, there are your other two carries with full damage builds. That's criminal, man. I'm in ELO hell. Just kidding, I'm not. I don't want you guys going around saying that, but it feels like it. I doubled the enemy ADC's damage. I also took more damage and mitigated more damage than their ADC. So when you look at it, you process it like wow you did as much as you could dude the only way this is better is if i'm playing a regular adc and i go enough lifesteal to solo objectives i don't think that makes a difference i still insta die on if i have agus that's a lot if i have agus at the end i don't insta die i die pretty quick but i don't insta die so agus would have been another change i could have made in that match i don't think it makes a difference i think the way the jungle made they're probably queued together the way they were playing ruins the game and makes it very hard to win so that's the match thinking it's about time to name change if you have any ideas put that in the comments below i might yoink one of them if they're pretty good hit the like button make sure you subscribe that i'll see you in the video tomorrow the next day the next day and the next day